Good evening, everybody. <coughs> Welcome, and thank you for being here at Springview Hospital. My name is Tim Trottier, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Springview. We have some uh, dignitaries here who are going to give a few words before we get to cut the ribbon and show off our brand new behavioral health unit. Um, to my left, and my favorite thing to say, this is my psychiatrist, Dr. Peter Stein. <laughs> If you haven't put a face to the name yet, th this is it. And then, of course, to my right, uh, our board chair, Mr. Rodney Lanham, and then a person at ESO introduction, our very own Senator, Jimmy Higdon. So with that, I'm going to invite Rodney to come up as our board chair and give a few words. We did not retain a professional speechwriter for this. And so, so, so he's taking the first line. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to share that with you in that... Uh, uh, I wanted to thank him for the speech writer that he promised me when he asked me to do this, and uh, they never showed. So, uh, so that kind of that felt flat to him. So thanks a lot. Uh, but while we're while we're on the subject of thanks, uh, I, I was very fortunate growing up that I had both both my parents living at home with me, uh, growing up on the family farm. My parents tried to teach me uh, good manners, and one of those was that you could never say thank you enough. In today's society, that seems to be one of life's lessons long forgotten. So I'd like to bring that back today by sharing some thank yous. First, I want to thank the medical staff for their vision and leadership, guiding our resources to be applied in a very high need area in our community. We would not be here today at this point without your dedication to your patients, our hospital, and our community. So thank you very much. Today, the bottom and the crew from Kelly Construction, thank you for your hard work, craftsmanship, and above all, meeting the construction deadline. <laughs> Tim kept the board apprised of your progress and always ended with the statement, they're going to finish on time. As Tim, le Tim led me on tours during the construction, I thought it was wishful thinking on his part. But it turned out to be true. So thank you, Kelly Construction. To Sarah Barker and her firm, Stingle Hill Architecture of Louisville, <coughs> thank you for your attention to detail in designing a very specialized care environment. Many of those details will allow our patients to receive better care and their care providers a safer work environment. Thus realizing what we all want, a healthier, happier patient. Thank you to Lisa Lavasser for your dedication and countless hours devoted to this project. Also, special thanks to Denise Daly and Barbara Lang for your guidance and direction in your roles as regional psychiatric nurse directors. Thank you also to Tim, Linda, Denise, and the rest of the administrative team as you have weathered the multitude of additional issues that arise during a project such as this. Your leadership is very much appreciated. Special thanks to the Family Care Unit staff for welcoming this service to your floor. Arnold Bennett said, any change, even change for the better, is always accompanied by drawbacks and discomforts. I, I realize for some this has been a difficult transition as we all look at the changing dynamics in providing patient care. And last, my final thank you is to collectively to our hospital staff and employees. My home on the farm was built in the 1890s and, and has gone through several constructive phases, especially in my lifetime. There's nothing more challenging, <coughs> frustrating, and aggravating than living, or in your case, working in a mess while renovations occur. But you endured, you persevered, never wavering from your task of providing a positive, caring, patient experience. And for that, I say again, thank you. So, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I welcome this new service to our hospital and our community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rodney. Now, a few words from Dr. Steiner. 
Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Pete Steiner, and delighted to be down here. Um, this is a very special service that's getting ready to start. Um, I have been practicing outpatient psychiatry up in the Louisville area most recently, and the combination of an acute care <coughs> hospital and a psychiatric facility in service of the geriatric population is very special and very needed. Um, most of the other services that are available in this region are just in psychiatric facilities, so they have very limited medical support. This facility is going to be very special in that we will be able to collaborate with the hospitalists to provide what hopefully will be a very, very high level of care for the geriatric population. Um, we're planning on having a very comprehensive service. Um, Gina Woods is the nurse practitioner and I will be working together um, on the unit. And uh, she and I will be alternating weekends, so we will be able to admit on the weekends from uh, nursing homes that are having problems with patients. Um, uh, probably about November, hope to be able to also offer uh, electroconvulsive therapy, which um, in the geriatric population is uh, very useful. A lot of times, elders will tend to just shut down, stop eating, um, really just stop living, and this kind of resets the brain, uh, not using as much medicine. So it, it's not forcing a whole bunch of new medicine on the patient. So we anticipate that service being able to be provided here with. Um, in conjunction with anesthesiology. Uh, so just very excited about the prospects of uh, providing services. In addition, I'll kind of do a little advertising for our outpatient service. Uh, we are gonna be offering outpatient service, general outpatient services to the community that will involve mood disorders, schizophrenia, uh, cognitive disorders, including ADD, and addiction uh, services as well. So I uh, hope to uh, be able to contribute to this community. Very thankful to the board and uh, to administration and their foresight and, and uh, the medical staff here uh, realizing the need. Uh, we, Gina and I have started seeing outpatients and uh, making rounds in the nursing homes in the community and uh, there's definitely a need here and I think very foresighted and uh, developing this service and, and it is a beautiful beautiful service I hope you take the opportunity to go up there uh, the construction folks um, thank the hospital the rest of the hospital for putting up with the construction uh, horizon life point and all the resources that have been devoted to this locally it really is a beautiful beautiful facility and uh, very appreciative so thank, thank you very sir. much The second most difficult medical specialty to recruit in the United States today is psychiatry. So when we launched this endeavor, we, we were, it was the thing keeping me awake at night. Are we gonna be able to get a psychiatrist? Dr. Steiner, like many of the physicians on our medical staff, are U of L born and raised. And after this past weekend, that's a real proud thing to say. So, <laughs> so my, my, favorite, my favorite comment when I was able to announce that we had recruited Dr. Peter Steiner was from Dr. Mark Ackerman in the back of the room right now when he said, Tim, how did you get Peter Steiner to come here? So uh, to be that validated our good decision, so couldn't be more proud. Uh, next to, up is our very own Senator Jimmy Higdon. Thank you, Tim. and, and uh, Asked him what I should say when I got up here, and he said, You're last, and uh, be brief, brother. Be brief. <laughs> so I will. I do want to uh, recognize a couple of my other elected colleagues here Judge David Darty hiding back there to my left, and State Representative Terry Mills hiding back here in the very back to my right. So I uh, just want to recognize, recognize those guys. Um, you know, it's really an honor to be here today to recognize and to, to, to I guess, speak uh, and 
I guess, prepare for this, this new behavioral health facility here at uh, Springview Hospital. And it's really, if you stop and think about it, it's a win, win, win. Uh, it's a win for the families of this area that they can receive these behavioral health services here at home now and not have to travel to the big city. It's a win for our community. It's a, a quality of life issue as we try to make Marion County a better place to live, work, raise our children, and to grow old. Uh, it's it's really a, a really another piece of the puzzle to make Marion County a better place to live and the surrounding counties. And it's a win for Springview Hospital. As we, uh, in this crazy world of, of medical care and, and medical services, um, you know, our, our community hospitals are threatened every day with the extinction and, and, and they have a tough time from time to time making ends meet and, and remaining relevant. And I think this, this behavioral health unit gives Springview not only today, tomorrow, but well into the future makes them relevant and, and they're going to be here in Marion County and be healthy for many years to come. So I'm really proud to be here today, proud of our hospital, and thank you all for being here to share with us. Thank you.